So I figured the best way to bring it up to you would be to show you. Oh my god! Oh. What the? You don't have a job? You don't have a job? I'm, I'm curious why you're like, why are you asking about our dating? Oh, well, it's uh, the, only, the only issue is that that's my wife. Well, this is what you get when you cheat. Now her entire family and all of her friends understand just how bad she really is. Excuse me, I saw you from over there. I wanted to say I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, what's your name? Destiny. Nice to meet you, Destiny. Listen, baby, I think right now that I'm supposed to be in your side of your destiny, you know? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm, you like that, huh? I don't know. Why, 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 why you don't like that? You don't think that was smooth? It could have been smoother. You from Florida? Yeah, I'm from Florida. So we should just do chilling, walk around the beach today, you're looking for some going on you single yeah i'm single but i don't know about that other part no i'm looking for you're not looking for mm, i'm just minding my business you just mind your business yeah. oh you like light skin uh i like a nice man but that wasn't a, that wasn't the question though you gotta answer the question baby light skin dark skin oh you don't you don't so you like the whites too damn uh, no, okay for sure hey I, I just gotta feel you know i'm trying to you know what I'm get to know you baby i used to have the bad brand she, she let her hang you know but i had to let her go oh okay so you know the hammock um, those she, just, she was just letting her take too much, you know, and open her DMs and shit. I just wasn't it, you know? And why you look so nervous? You look like someone about to sock your Damn. Do I look threatening or something? Oh, it's just, you know, you're talking about a, another woman's personal body parts. I mean, you got too, don't you? Uh, yeah, but, you know. Well, she hasn't called the police yet, so clearly he's doing something correctly. What is your favorite position? I'm a I ain't gonna lie. Oh. I get paid. <laughs> Whoa. I get paid, for sure. Okay, period. And from the back. We love that. Yeah, I would say mine would be, yeah, definitely back shots. I wouldn't say I'm a m though. <laughs> you know, like, I'm much more of a receiver than a giver, I guess. Mm. Honestly, like. <laughs> Are you serious? Please, someone fix me. You should not expect to receive when you're not willing to give. This is just basic common sense. Do women want a man or do women need a man? I think that the question is a quality of life question. Can I survive by myself? Yes. Would that be a good quality of life? Absolutely not. It would be miserable. I also think that the language around woman empowerment is so condescending mm. to tell, you know, like a boss babe, you can do it yourself. It's, it's like it's like you're talking to a baby. Yeah, but you the, can but do you it. You started it. Could you, could you imagine if we were doing that, though? Uh, hey, but I'm yeah. an independent man. Yeah. Adam, I'm going to be an yeah, independent I, man. I'm a boss man. I'm a boss I, man tonight. I don't need no woman. I, I, don't need right? I pay my no, own bills. Hold on, let me pull I get my own nails done. Yeah, How about I did my own hair today, Michael. Let me pull up in this Rolls and I won't say but I do that instead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And but to, to your credit, I see what you're saying. It is a little condescending. Yeah. But I'm willing to bet that women made up those terms, not men. I don't men. dispute that at all. Okay. I think that the modern feminist movement is the cause of a lot of sex, both directed at, at men and women, um, which is why I had a really hard time letting go of the term feminist, because obviously I want women to be empowered into whatever, but but I find that it just does not fit how I feel. It's okay if you want to be a little bit more masculine, a little bit more feminine, but you can also embrace the role that was, and for the longest time I was rebelling against who I am to try and appease this feminist idea of like, mm -hmm. I can work and I can be independent. Yeah, I can, I proved that to myself, but I'm gonna be miserable. It's actually really nice to hear a former feminist admit how flawed the mindset is. I hope this can change something in our society. You know, in fact, she eats healthier than I do. No, she doesn't. I take her grocery shopping and the cart is loaded full of fruits and vegetables. I don't even eat that much. This is what she had to eat the day that we did the pre-interview with her. 7 a.m., four or five donuts while she's cooking breakfast. What did she have for breakfast? A seven egg omelet with a cup and a half of cheese and then she had four corn dogs dipped in nacho cheese and a full-size bag of potato chips. And you're right, she had a couple of strawberries. 
Now she had three sandwiches with ham, cheese, mayo, tomato, cucumber, avocados, croutons, bacon bits, and ranch dressing. And she said, this is where I get my vegetables. Now we get to lunch. She has a large pepperoni pizza. Then at one o'clock, she has snack number three, two bowls of ice cream. Then at two, she had two bacon cheeseburgers, a box of mac and cheese, and three bananas, tacos with rice and beans. Then she had a whole box of honey buns, a whole box of hot pocket loaded potatoes. Then at 10, a bag of pepperoni. And along the way, she drank a gallon of sweet tea and six candy bars. There is no way that anybody can eat more than that. She has to be eating constantly to finish all that. She must not even have a job. But if she doesn't have a job, how can she afford all this food? This is one of those mysteries that'll never be solved. I think a guy should pay for when they go out to dinner, I think. Do you consider yourself a feminist? I would say like- Do you believe in gender equality? Yeah. So why should the guy have to pay for you on the first date? Just like what Lindsay's saying. I think there's a difference. Okay, so are you guys traditional women? That's a that's a really broad question. I think that you're, if, well, you're if, expecting men to adhere to their traditional gender roles. Are you a traditional woman yourself? Because you don't, equality is not a buffet where you get to pick and choose yeah, that which benefits you, and you say no to that which doesn't. This is the problem. They want to pick and choose what benefits them, and this is totally unfair. When you pack cigarettes, this is how you pack your cigarettes. When you have, a, when you have a with a woman, Steve, you done been into a woman. Yes. When you sleeping with a woman and you slapping her on her butt, it's gonna be this. Well, everybody has their own style, right? Hey, but on the real, Steve, I ain't playing no patty cake with your. You know what I'm saying? Well, he seems like he has some experience, so I'm gonna take his word for it. Absolutely loved you. I've introduced you to my son. And I wanted to spend the rest of my life. I live! Last night, Chris told me about it. You're a cheat. Bye. What they should have done is they should have played some epic music when he left the room. That would have made this way more fun. But she definitely brought disappointment on her whole family. This according to Oxfam, of the world's 85 richest people is equal to the three and a half billion poorest people. It's fantastic. And this is a great thing because it inspires everybody, gets the motivation to look up to the 1% and say, I want to become one of those people. I'm going to fight hard to get up to the top. This is fantastic news. And of course I applaud it. What can be wrong with this? Really? Yes, really. So somebody living on I celebrate a capitalism. dollar a day in Africa is, is getting up in the morning and saying, I'm going to be Bill Gates. That's the motivation the everybody needs. The only thing between needs. me and I'm that guy is charity. motivation. I just need to pull up my socks. I am oh, not, wait, don't, I don't have socks. It's all about having the drive to get to where they are. But remember, guys, money isn't everything. So if you were with me, yeah, and Kim Kardashian walked in and was like, oh, baby. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Can no. I be honest with you? Okay. I feel like... When I could put faces to the men's that you oh. like swallowed and that, it kind of puts me off. I feel like it makes my. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I'll be looking at you, and if I'm like we're doing a thing, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm like, "Who's is this?" I'm just like, and you're like, "It's yours." I'm like, "It's really not, bro." Well, in my opinion, Kim Kardashian is overrated, anyways. It's a girl that I dated before her. I know she would have been a good wife beyond a shadow of a doubt. I know she would have made a good wife. I rejected her for one reason. I couldn't see myself being attracted to her for my entire life. That's cruel. Nope, that was wise. She is now married. She got married not too long after that. So I had to be honest with myself. So she fit the mold of a good wife, but she wasn't that top treasure that I was looking for. This is not a good thing. You can't force a relationship with someone, especially if you're not attracted to them. What are you doing? Follow my finger? No, I mean, I had a, I had a glass of wine with dinner. Hands out to the side. And bring your finger to the tip of your nose, slowly, back out, one more time, same hand, now other hand, exact same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know this woman? How do you know this woman? Uh, Tinder. Huh? Yeah. Huh? This is, your, is your first time out with her? Oh, really? Yeah. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm curious by your, like, why are you asking about our dating? Oh well, it's uh, the only the only issue is that that's my wife. 
Pardon me? Yeah, yeah, you are pardoned. I, I will pardon you. Uh, I, because I, see, I'm not... I, I this is, like, like, literally no, it's, it's not on you. Single. That's on you. You're not the one that made a Tinder profile while you were married. I, I uh, so... Hey, can I, can I put my hands down? You know, why don't you put your hands out? Why don't you uh, grab her stuff out of the car and you can actually leave. You go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah. Hop in, hop in over here. Yeah, the driver's side. Keep your hands on the vehicle, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna grab. You want me to grab the purse? Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me her stuff. Everything, everything that's hers in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you give me that? Phone. Yep. Just right there. Yep. Her phone. Good. Can I, can I sit down? Uh, yeah. You, go ahead. Actually, okay. uh, ma'am, step away from the vehicle. Keep your hands up. Excellent. And uh, you have a good one, sir. Have a good one. Head on out. Yes, you are. Yep. Uh huh. So. Did you really just? I think you. There's nothing for you to say. You're gonna just stay here. You should call your mom and have her get the rest of the things from my place tonight. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah. This was not how I was expecting my work day to go. Well, this girl will definitely think twice before cheating again. Rate me on a scale from one to 10, but first take a good look. A three. What? Why a three? Check the toe. Why were you even looking there? I need you to touch up your hair too. Maybe get some contacts. I just spent a thousand dollars to get my hair done last week. Do you know what lip gloss is? A little chapstick? Well, that was kind of rude. Sorry, maybe just one more thing. Your feet are big as hell. If you ask me, it seems like all he's trying to do is give her some advice. I know who you are. Oh. Well, you're the father of my baby. Yeah, yes, you sure? No, no. like... No, I, I know. I doubt he even knows you as the father. One day, she's gonna get a restraining order. I would say, I don't disagree with a lot of things she said. I, I don't like how the way she says it, but I do like the way she lives her life. I just don't like the way she explains it. That's okay, my let point me ask you a question. Let's say you're in a math class and the math teacher tells you one day one plus one is two, and then another day says one plus one is two. Does it change the fact that it's two? No. But like I just, I, I just so said what's, that. What's I said it? I like yeah. the way she lives. I just didn't like how it came up. It may have but come why from is delivery it. so important? Because delivery is how you interpret everything in life. The only reason you're able to have a lot of the thought process and world observations you have is because you're a female. A man with your mindset would never be successful, unfortunately. And the reason why is because based on a lot of things that you said, with all due respect, you have a victim mindset. But if I was talking to a man, I would tell him, you're you're Thinking like this is not going to get you successful. However, you're able to think that way because you're female and there's certain privileges that are afforded to women that men are not afforded. For example, you had a point of contention with how she delivered things that were straight factual, but men don't have these issues that women have. This is really dumb. No matter how it's said, the truth will always be the truth. One of Adrian's deal breakers is oh. someone who doesn't have a J-O-B. Yeah, someone who doesn't have a job. Is I don't have a job. You don't have a job? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, button. <laughs> she seemed to be pretty angry at that button. Maybe she should have just had a job. What's the maddest thing you've done if somebody's like an ex or boyfriend is off? I'm not like, you see, like, I'm not mad in terms of like, I'm going to break your car. Like, I might think about it, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. But like, probably just like pull up on you. Like. Pull up? What do you mean pull up? Like, if I need to like pull up on you, that, I'll you? pull up on you. Like, what that's you mean, probably like... the craziest thing I'll do. So have you ever pulled up on somebody before? Yeah. For sure. Why? What do they do? Because you're not answering my messages, of course. Big man thing. Mad But yeah. for a look, not like two minute thing, like if you're like, let's say we're having an argument, it's been like a couple of hours, you're like, where are you? You said you were home. Cool, I'm pulling up at your house. Let's 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 resolve the issue face to face. So you're just out there like in the, in the BM just like, watch your man. Are you serious? You, you're not joking with me, are you? You're being very serious, aren't you? Well, it's not crazy. Why is that crazy? You don't that think I want to resolve. Mad? Like, okay, you know what? Okay, so if you're not answering my text, that means you want to see me. Do you get what I mean? Like, just pull up. Big man <laughs> Yeah. Well, if he's not answering your text, I don't think that he wants to see you. We pick a woman, we don't pick a woman based upon feel experience. When we pick women, we do not prioritize It's never been a factor. We want fit, feminine, cooperative, youth, and um, we do purity. This is things that men go for. We don't go for You know why? Because initially you were supposed to be a 
you were supposed to learn that with your partner, all of these things. You weren't supposed to come good to go after 10 man or whatever, how many man it is, and then say, oh, I've got all these. No, you're supposed to learn, learn. Yeah, the only reason why girls, girls come and say, oh, you know what, I want a woman, I want a man with a big thing, I don't want a man with small things, because you had too many things. How would you know? How would you know? How could you compare? Unless you had too many dicks. You couldn't compare, could you? So you would be happy with what you got. But because you go out there and you get men doing all these different things and then women using boys and all these things, so it makes it harder for you to climb, then it be the job becomes a lot harder for men to do. This guy explained everything super thoroughly and I think this information can actually help a lot of women out there that are struggling. Thank you for coming on this wonderful occasion, on this wedding day. I really do thank you for coming here to my groomsmen. Thank you for always being there for me. And baby, I love you. I truly love you. There's one thing I wanted to talk to you about, but I couldn't figure out the words to express it. So I figured the best way to bring it up to you would be to show you. What? What? What the hell? Oh my God! Oh. What the? Oh, hell no. Oh, shit.